What is going on guys, DBG here, and today, lads, we are going to be talking about NBA 2K22, my team, and something that is coming up, something that we have not seen really yet in my team, and we kind of saw them, we kind of saw them in season, uh, season 5, but I mean, it was just another playoff push type thing, but... What we could be seeing, I don't think it happens this week because playoff moments are definitely coming tomorrow. Something big is coming tomorrow in terms of packs. Thursday is almost certainly going to be um, Evos again. Wednesday, they're probably going to put another exchange card. If they know what they're, if they're smart, they'll do that. And then next week on Monday or when, Monday probably, they'll release these. If they're smart, that's what they'll do. On Monday or Tuesday, they'll release. They shouldn't do it on Tuesday because last year they released these, these type of things on Tuesdays. And what ended up happening was, or maybe it was Wednesdays. Anyway, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever the midweek drop was, the midweek pack that week was, nobody cared. So, anyway, now we're going to talk about what it is. So if you guys see right here, look here. Do you like Spotlight Challenges? Lads, 20% said no because they cooked X twice. It's the very first thing. The very first thing. The fact that 45% of people moved to answer the question correctly instead of just spam for the tokens. I don't see any reason. Um, it's like NBA 2K22 Season 7 blog. Then look at the Season 7 blog. I showed it. They wouldn't hint at this if they're not coming soon. I also don't think they're going to come this week. Who's running Zion at center? Jesus Christ. Um... But yeah, so, you guys can see right here, the Season 7 blog. The Quartzire Report 17. So, take a read right here. So, where do we go? So, obviously, it says here, Season Moms, Gen as well. Can you continue throughout the NBA postseason? Pink Time, Galaxy Opal, and Dark Knight cards available right now. Earn these. It is what it is. So, look, look at this. Your might will be tested. Forget what you think you know. This can only be experienced. What awaits is. I don't know what the hell 2 are going to be doing. I'm, I have a feeling that because we haven't yet seen. It's been like 10 days in the season. And we haven't seen a single one of those hero cards. My guess is we're going to see in the lock-in for Invincible and Bead. We're going to see spotlights being involved in the lock-in for invincible and bead rather than an invincible spotlight which is going to be kind of disappointing that's probably my unless you unlock invincibles to get invincible and bead but like again if you look at say nba 2k21 like we look at say spotlights from other years spotlight sims from 2k20 don't really count because again like spotlight sims were like the longest grind ever but even in 2k20 um just want to check so bird was the so let me search there bird was one of them what day did he come out june the 10th okay so it was like june the 10th was when the all play what are they all time spotlight sims or playoff spotlight sims i can't remember what spotlight sims they were spotlight sim west spotlight Elite Rewards. Historic Spotlight Sims? No, they weren't Historic. There were Final Spotlight Sims. That was it. The Final Spotlight Sims. And then there was All Time Spotlight Sims was after all of them. There was Final Spotlight Sims and there was All Star, All Time Spotlight Sims, which got you Steph Curry. But, um, yeah, so that's obviously what they were in 20. Like, we look at 2K21 and we got our first Spotlight Sims in February, where it started in March. Whenever it was All-Star Weekend. And then at the very end of June, the 30th of June, we got Gauntlet Spotlight Sims. But like last year, they actually brought out Spotlight Sims the same day as a pack drop. And like no one's ever opening packs for Invincible Steph Curry when you can get Invincible Taco that day. I don't think it was 30 Dark Matters. I don't think we're at Gauntlet yet. Gauntlet was 30th of June, which is a month from now. I don't think it was 30 Dark Matters. Um, but like I'm kind of in fear that they're going to base the spotlight sims around the mural and i really don't want them to do that 
If they do that, it just turns into what we got in Season 5 this year, which was a fake Spotlight Sims. I'm sorry. I don't, this, these are not... Like, these suck. Like, they weren't... Like, they were free content, but I mean, compared to what we expect from Spotlights, these were awful. Bracket Buster Spotlights. These were literally, like, complete a challenge with this player, complete a challenge with these players. And then, oh, you can... Um, all this was, literally, was people just went into TTO and freaking let people score on each other. Bring back spotlights as what they are. Even last year's triple threat spotlights were kind of cool. Like, I didn't like, I didn't mind too much at the time. Like, there's some absolute BS challenge like getting a triple double in a 21 point game against three invincibles. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, or getting a double double with rebounds or something like that. Even just getting a double double is very difficult. But, um, some of them were just stupid. But like, we look, say, we're Triple Threat Spotlight Sims, the 19th of May. Last year, we got three free Dark Matters, and we got sets of five, all Galaxy Opals. Five Galaxy Opals of Dark Matter, five Galaxy Opals, Dark Matter, five Galaxy Opals, Dark Matter. And then get the three Dark Matters, and you can go and get Bill Russell and Mincible. We need something like that. Something like this would be really, really cool, lads. And we need those... 20, 30 card spotlight sims with every card being good. Because if they start giving us like diamonds, pink diamonds, yeah, I know there's some got two diamond, pink diamond tiers, but come on, at this stage in the game, after what we got last year with triple chest spotlight sims, it gotta be at least this. I would like, what I would like to see is 2K doing something like a hero spotlight sims, where they're not part of the mural, but like every card, I don't know, maybe gets, that's, pro that's not gonna happen. Right, I don't know, maybe, no, nah, as I was about to say, you couldn't have these three guys be heroes and then lock in because they're heroes during the mural. The annoying thing is that they're gonna do some crap like this, where suddenly Ralph Sampson comes out and Ralph Sampson can't be that good in game because he's needed to lock in for Vince Carter. And like, you can't put an invincible in the mural because the card art doesn't work out. Because the card art's a mural. So I'm really scared that that's gonna happen with it. And it's gonna take away from what we've previously known as spotlights as being the biggest. Spotlights used to be the equivalent of like icon swaps. Like I don't, what I don't want is, it, I think it's too early to give us something stupid like this. I think we need another, Gauntlet Spotlight Sims is something that we need to get this year. But I think with the way my team's going this year, like around the 10th of July would be the perfect time for the Gauntlets. Like that would be the perfect time. Or if the game ever comes out free, then you go and release the Gauntlets. Um. These are like challenges that are really difficult. The only thing is, is that it looks like my thing here, you might be tested, forget me, you think, you know, this will only be experienced. It looks like they're bringing out gauntlets a month earlier than last year or three weeks earlier than last year. And the only thing is, is that once gauntlets come out, there's no really going back, if you get me. Like, no, but like the only reason why these chat, why people played these challenges was for this guy right here. Like, if Taco wasn't there, 95% of us would have played James Wiseman, Cam Reddish, and then quit. And then quit. And you're, you're not, it's not like we didn't just get a Dark Knight Taco, so we can't get an Invincible Taco. Um, it wouldn't put it past me. Uh, Yao Ming's too big a name. Maybe Invincible Simvular? Maybe that's a card that could get people playing. I don't even think an invincible LeBron James, another invincible LeBron will get people playing as much as an invincible Taco. Like, an invincible Luca. An invincible Luca will. If you want to make Gauntlet Spotlight Sims, an invincible Luca's the reward. Okay, okay, you got, you got, you got me. Invincible Luca's the reward. But like, what I really do hope is that they, that they don't link it to the damn mural. Again, if we look at Hero, Zion, Williamson, the only thing is that I'm 99% I'm sure, like, I'm 99% sure they will. Which means we're not gonna get an Invincible. We're not gonna get like a Taco card. Heck, we're not even, we're highly unlikely to even get a Bill Lambier, or not Bill Lambier, Bill Russell type card. Because, you can see here, it's likely that there's probably gonna be some way of getting three Dark Matters, and the three Dark Matters, or, Either three dark matters to lock to go into this, or even just one dark matter of spotlights. And it might be a good dark matter. Oh, that dark matter is Luca. 
I'm sorry, unless that Dark Matters Luca and you're planning on releasing Invincible Luca for next season. There's there are very few Dark Matter cards that are acceptable that will be acceptable to have as a spotlight reward. And it's like Luca, Simbularis, that type, those type of guys. Even Dark Matters of those guys would be good. But um, yeah, I hope that these aren't the last spotlight challenges. I hope that this is a case of they're just giving us some really hard challenges and then we're gonna get the real gauntlet sims next. Or um, maybe, I don't know, we got gauntlet spotlight sims this season. And next season they go even further and go end game spotlight sims where they give like the most stupid challenges ever. Like gold versus invincibles in 2K22 where it's gonna be basically impossible. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it lads. Obviously spotlights are coming. And um, what you guys think of them, I don't know. I'm looking forward to whatever it is. It's content for me at the end of the day. But I'm very, very scared that these murals, they're going to screw up because of the murals. So, anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.